Few have had as versatile a career as singer-actor Jason Weaver. Aside from a string of R&B hits, he was also featured in Oprah's TV series Brewster Place. He was the singing voice of young Simba in The Lion King. He was young Michael Jackson in The Jacksons in American Dream. I was on the TV sitcom Thea, among many, many, many roles. Jason's back home in Chicago now as part of the cast of the new season of The Shy, and he joins us this morning. Nice to see you, Jason. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for uh, for having me on. It's an honor to be here on WG, and I grew up watching this channel, so this is awesome. Oh well, we love having you on here with us. Here's the mark of uh, somebody who is really from Chicago. I was looking on your, I think it was on your Twitter this morning. Uh, you okay. Ca you came back to Chicago, you know, you, to work on the shy. And yeah. you said uh, one of the first places uh, that you went to was Lens Barbecue on 75th Street. I, I love that. Shout out to Lens Barbecue. <laughs> I was actually there uh, yesterday. I grew up on Lens Barbecue. Um, my, my family is from that area. Uh, shout out to the Haywood family. We're all from like 71st in South Michigan. And, um, you know, going over to 75th Street, to get limbs on on any given day was was like our thing, and so I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, you know, I've I've got rest Mr. Lemon's soul. Uh, when I was a little boy, he used to put me up on the counter while they'd be preparing the orders and all that. So I just had a whole nostalgic uh, kind of thing yesterday with just being back there. Sure. So it's. It's really just an honor to be back in Chicago and to be working on the shy. It's, yeah. it's excellent. Only only uh, true Chicagoans know these great places, you know, that are the the hidden places around Chicago that are just the the really great places. What was it? Li what was it like for you, uh, Jason, growing up? I mean, you started in show business very very young. What was it like being a, a showbiz kid? You know what my my experience. Thank God. Uh, from the very beginning has always been a, a positive one, uh, a very rewarding one uh, in so many ways, not only uh, professionally, but also personally. Um, I think uh, growing up here in the city and entering into the business, um, you know, here doing uh, uh, commercials and print ads and things like that, competing against some of the, you know, the top child actors at that time that the city had to offer the competition was very stiff and, you know, people people recognize Chicago as being a town. There's a huge talent pool um, of really skilled actors and performers and singers and what have you. So for me, it, it's always just been a, a learning experience. And, um, you know, again, it's just always been very rewarding. I have to give a, a ton of credit to my mother, uh, Kitty Haywood. Uh, some people may know her out there. Sure. Uh, but my mother was very instrumental in helping to guide me uh, throughout the course of my career as a kid, um, also providing insight and wisdom, uh, you know, not only as far as being in front of the camera, but being behind the camera, understanding how deals are structured, being able to handle my business. So, you know, I honestly have nothing but positive things to say about my experience growing up being in the entertainment industry. And what can you tell us about what you're going to be doing uh, on season four of The Shy? Yes, please, everyone, make sure that you tune in to Showtime. Uh, May 23rd, we are uh, in full swing of season four on The Shy. Shout out to my, my boss and my sister, Lena Way. Uh, but no, s season four, I think people are really, really going to love it. Um, we're tackling a lot of issues, not to give anything away as far as the storyline, but we're tackling a lot of issues that are relevant um, as to what's going on in society and what's happening in the media today. Uh, and particularly when it comes to like police reform, uh, community policing, uh, you know, that kind of thing. We're, we're tackling that. We're, my character, Rashad, is, uh, is a guy that's just getting out of prison after doing a, a little stint in prison uh, on behalf of his friend Trig, okay. who's played by Luke James. And I come in into him and his, uh, his girlfriend's, you know, kind of life in their apartment there and kind of 
toss things up and right. he's a little loud and a little brash, but overall, right. um, he comes around full circle and okay. so does the, the overall story. As, as you said, it uh, premieres May 23rd, eight o'clock on Showtime. Jason, right. welcome back home. It's great to see you and uh, hopefully Thank we'll you. see you over at Lens soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Chicago.